because you don't know what plays they have created for Ritter. And Ritter has been sitting by watching Mariota do the wrong things time and time again. He's seen where Mariota did stuff right, but he's had a he's had a in-person classroom teaching. So a lot of people looking at him like, what if he does wrong? What if he does right? We don't know. That, that's what we're talking about. You got to have the mindset is, and then here's the problem. We're always looking for the negative. Right. Four, four games is not enough games to be judging somebody like that. Because if that's the case, Josh Allen wouldn't be in Buffalo. Right. Maybe, yeah. Zach Wilson right. wouldn't, have, wouldn't have made it on mm-hmm. New York. Right. Like you said, like you said. Go all four games. Oh, what you say, what you say, Black Bear? Uh, yeah, you can't go out four games. I, yeah. I don't, I don't know why y'all this microwave society. Y'all want everything to be so instant. Can we get a guy a chance to get get his sea legs to to to, to become whoever he's going to become before we just say, oh well, he didn't do shit in those four games, so I guess we go draft another quarterback in the first round. I guess we need to see how much it's gonna cost us to get Lamar Jackson. I guess we need to see how much it's gonna cost us to get uh, whatever all the blow smoke uh, y'all want to go out there and get. Get a guy a chance to get his feet wet. It's the same thing with Marvin, but that's why we look to see the positives in what somebody can bring the team, and you just hope that their negative don't rear their ugly heads. Well, yeah, like I said, it's like like it's like as much as we talk about it, like I say, it's unfair to put a judgment on a guy's NFL career based on four games. That's unfair. Go ahead, Mike. Senator Palpatine, the floor is yours. And then after after this, we finna really get into the main event tonight. After oh, this. the main event gonna be nasty. <laughs> I got a question. Let's let play a game. Okay. Let's play this game called What If? Game kind of fun. I mean, everybody, I, I keep saying the same stuff. What if he fails? 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 Fail? 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 That'd be a good song. I need to uh, talk to Ty. Oh, game on, but what if? What if Desmond Ritter is actually good? That part. Mm-hmm. What if he's good? You know, we no longer have to focus on a quarterback for a quite, uh, quite a long time. Almost like we did Matt Ryan. We didn't have to worry about a quarterback for nearly 10 years, plus, plus what, 14 years? Yep. What? What if he does succeed? Mm-hmm. Just saying, bro. It's all, it's all in your mindset. If you always focus on another fucking quarterback, you will always see misery. You will always see misery. You are always going to think misery. You will always see misery. That's all you're going to get. And, and then, like I said, that comes to an issue too. Is that's where all the negative, that all the negative plays are under a microscope more so than the good plays. And this is the problem with with talking about Marcus Mariota and his time playing here in Atlanta. Is yes, he had a lot of negative plays. But he had some good plays that helped kept the team in this way. Notice I said help. I didn't say it was the reason why. Mm-hmm. It's kind of sad that you have to kind of put that exclamation in there. Because some 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 folks is slow. So we we gotta we gotta make sure we cover all bases here. It's the same thing they did for Matt Ryan. We focused on they focused on the negative plays instead of focusing on the good plays. And this is an issue that as not just Falcon fans, but football fans in general have is when it's a guy that we don't like. Oh, I thought somebody watched the dishes back there. Like, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> nah, but, nah. but when it comes to players that we don't like, we tend to micro- put their negative plays under a microscope and negate the good plays they have. You can. Like I said, four games is not enough. You need all of 2023 and 2024 to figure out what the hell you got. Right. Right. Because they have to get, they have to 
They got to get the speed of the game. They got to take their lumps. They got to figure out where, where they're good at, where they're deficient, or what they need to work on. And they got to gel with the offensive line. They got to gel. He got to be able to find out what personnel likes what. Because all of them, all of them have to work off of each other, period. And then you still got to think. Four games in, we go into the draft. He still got to gel with brand new rookies that's going to be on the O line helping him out. So what am I saying in short? It's going to take a while to figure out what we are to develop these young pieces for us to become the Chiefs, the Bills, the Steelers. Because we got to focus on developing the young people. He's not worried about these old guys. He's worried about these young guys. Mm-hmm. And making these young getting the best out of these young guys. That's what we're on. It's gonna be it's gonna take longer than two years. It's gonna take longer than three years, people. This is at least a five to six year turnaround because you're building from the ground up. I don't think people understand that with the five of the doors. We build it from the ground up, bro. We got rid of everybody. Yep. Yep.